Federal trial for reality TV's The Chrisleys will continue tomorrow in downtown Atlanta. They're accused of bank fraud and tax evasion. Channel 2 Steve Galbach was at the federal courthouse today for the opening statements. The government pulled no punches saying Todd and Julie Chrisley, quote, made up documents and lied through their teeth to get what they want. Now, their attorneys for the couple say they were uninvolved in their own finances, but actually a business partner who was controlling everything, who forged documents, emails, and really impersonated him, saying, quote, he took over being Todd Chrisley. I make millions of dollars a year. During opening statements in the federal criminal trial that could last up to a month, the attorney for Todd Chrisley told the jury about the still-running reality TV show, Chrisley Knows Best. I think it's perfect. We're not perfect. Saying much of it is scripted and some made up, and the family's wealth was an act as they didn't have that much money after filing for bankruptcy following the real estate crash and before starting the show in 2013. The Chrisleys were living in Roswell at the time, and over years, the government claims they manufactured documents to show local banks they had money and income, taking out $30 million in fraudulent loans and walking away from more than $20 million in debt when everything collapsed and they filed bankruptcy. But their attorneys claimed in court today that it was the Chrisley's business partner who took control over Todd's business, finances, and his life. He'll be the prosecution's star witness after going to the feds, but the Chrisley's attorneys say his immunity deal was just seeking protection and revenge. In a statement Todd posted last year to Instagram addressing these federal charges, he said, quote, We know that if and when this goes to court, the truth will prevail and the charges against us will be exposed for the outrageous lies they are. There's the bank fraud part of the case and a whole other tax evasion part of this case, both serious crimes. Now, prosecutors say the Chrisleys, once they did land that TV show, made millions of dollars, but then tried to hide that income, keeping it from the IRS so they wouldn't have to pay nearly a half million dollars in back taxes. And this trial expected to last the next three to four weeks. In downtown Atlanta, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.